Joining me right now for our Power Hour is former Georgia Congressman and House Speaker Newt Gingrich and former Georgia Congressman and Georgia Judiciary Committee Ranking Member Doug Collins. Gentlemen, great to see you both. Thank you so much for Good being morning. here. Great Newt, to be with you. Kick us off here. Your reaction to President Trump posting that money. Well, look, I, I think it's remarkable that he can do it, but it's even more remarkable that the Biden administration is presiding over an effort to destroy their opponent by financially destroying him. I mean, there's no question that Trump's not running against Biden. Trump is running against an entire machine. And the whole machine is doing everything it can to undermine and weaken President Trump. So, in a sense, this is a victory, but it's a victory that shouldn't have even be occurring. I mean, no normal American would be under this kind of assault. It's a deliberate political effort to, in a sense, uh, financially kill him uh, and, and cripple him so he can't really be an effective candidate. Every American should be worried, because if they can do this to Donald Trump, they can do it to you. Yeah. So the question is, will they be successful, Newt? I mean, look, there may very well be a trial before the election that he will go and 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 be on on trial and perhaps get a very you know one-sided jury. Well, I, look, I think the whole question is whether or not the American people decide that this is a legitimate legal process or that this is a political uh, destruction effort. And it's much closer to Putin or to Fidel Castro or to the current dictatorship in Venezuela. This is an effort by the democratic machine at the state level, the local level and the federal level to destroy their opponent because they know that he is currently the front runner and they know that he's likely to win and take back the White House. And that is so frightening to them. Uh, and so the question is, at a bigger level, do all these things end up convincing Americans, yes, we have to elect Trump purely to clean up a corrupt system, or do they decide that Trump's the problem? So far, uh, every indication is that they're getting more and more alienated from Biden and more and more angry about the Democratic machine's clear illegality. Yeah. These things are just, they're just clearly illegal. Mm. Doug Collins, how do you see it? Yeah, I think uh, the speaker's right. I think you're looking at this, but I, I'm taking it a step further. I think it's just more than just this election cycle. We've been going back to this, Maria, and, and how many times have we talked about this, you know, since 2016 election, the night that, you know, the tears in Brooklyn started with Hillary and the tears of uh, go after Trump has been started. It was started way before he even got elected. And now you have people, this is the thing that has amazed me a little bit, is, and uh, Newt brought it up, and that was this fact that they were there are people actually running on a platform of getting Donald Trump. Now, you think about that. Letitia James, you think about Alvin Bragg, you think about these <laughs> folks uh, that basically ran on, I'm going to get Donald Trump. And so it's one of those characteristics, as a lawyer, you have this whole set of laws here in book that you say, well, I'm going to take this law and I'm going to go find somebody to charge. And that's, the, that's what the American people are looking at here. Will it affect? I, I think, yeah, you've got some that are going to be affected by a, a trial in New York City, especially the one that's coming up that could be affected. But I think jo that Donald Trump's done a good job of talking about how this is an attack on a single person during a single campaign for a political purpose and not a reality. I, you know, this $175 million, I mean, I'm not going to say I'm glad he can impose the bond, but it shouldn't have been hardly any bond. That case should have never been brought. And I mm -hmm. think that's the problem that most people are seeing when they look at this. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be an interesting year for that. But I think they framed it. Donald Trump done the best he can do to frame it as they're after me because they're really after you. But one last thing, Maria. We're talking about it with Donald Trump now. The government like this has done this to other folks all the time. People can relate to this when dealing with the DOJ, the IRS, and others. They can understand. So there's a relationship there, correlation between Trump, what he's going through, and what people have gone through. Mm, yeah, exactly. Meanwhile, you talk about that and this constant attack on President Trump. Let's just look at President Biden's agenda. I want to point out that we're at the <laughs> lows of the morning this morning with the Dow Jones Industrial Average right now down 213 points. Stop Stocks are plummeting uh, as oil prices are rising. Oil prices right now at the highest level since October. You've got uh, crude oil at $85 a barrel, Newt. And uh, this is a direct result of, you know, the, the policies coming out of this administration, which is pretty much shutting off fossil fuel. We're, at, we're, we're up one and, three quarter, one and a third percent on oil, and this is off of the highest levels of the morning. Well, look, I mean, 
The fact is, left-wing ideas don't work. Uh, they're not working in Europe, where there's a constant movement. Uh, they weren't working in Turkey, where the Erdogan regime just got virtually wiped out in the local elections. Uh, and I think they don't work here. Uh, Biden has made a commitment, which is very interesting historically, to create a socialist, anti-religious party. Yeah, he is doubling and tripling down on unifying uh, the the weird left, frankly, uh, and those policies of that that movement are just profoundly out of touch with reality. Uh, we are the largest producer of oil and gas in the world. We could easily be supplying Western Europe with liquefied natural gas. We could easily be driving down the price. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> I said this when Obama was president. The left has policies that hurt normal Americans, and normal Americans, mm -hmm. I think, understand that.